Hey, it's Rob from Fandroid.com, and I'm here with the Sprint HTC Hero. We're about to do a software review, and this version of the Hero is going to come shipped with Android 1.5, which is Cupcake. Now, Donut might be out very soon to consumers, but it will really determine. Uh, it will be determined by the carrier as to when the update will get pushed to your phone. So you can expect to get Android 1.5 when you get your Sprint HTC Hero. Now this is deja vu for me because uh, not too long ago I reviewed in depth the, the regular HTC Hero or the European version which came out um, a little while ago. And they come with the exact same software. They're both Android but they both come customized with, uh, with HTC Sense which is the company's uh, unique customized version of Android that adds a lot of features social networking and contact integration and a UI improvements and and some basic um, and extensive kind of overhaul of the Android uh, operating system so I went in-depth in the other review I'm not gonna go in-depth now I'm going to link you to the in-depth articles or the in-depth videos so you can really dive in but there's no need to do it again because essentially they're the exact same but if you stay tuned in this video or uh, read the rest of this review I will show you the differences in the software because there are some key differences uh, the main differences you'll want to note are the differences between stock Android which is uh, found on the T-Mobile G1 which I have now you can see that the T-Mobile G1 has three screens three little home screens here that you can customize and add widgets and stuff to and that's it you've got to organize your stuff in folders really and it gets overwhelming because there's so much stuff on Android market um, let's look at the comparison just of the graphics real quick and the UI uh, the the HTC Hero is just much more visually appealing. Uh, the the uh, all all the elements. If you there's so many minor details in here that just give it a better look and a more polished feel to the phone. Um, and we'll go through some of them in a minute. But I'm gonna knock down a bunch of uh, bullet points to really explain to what HTC Sense is all about. Um, so let's start with this with the number of uh, screens you have here and this is something that is custom to HTC since there's seven screens here so one two three four five six seven right yep it stops right there so those seven screens together are called a scene it's like kinda of like a canvas this is one scene that you want to use say right now I'm at work uh, which is kinda of awesome uh, but I'm at work, so I might want to have a work scene. I might want to have, uh, you know, my my Fandroid Twitter going on and see what Cyanogen uh, has to say and uh, what's with all the tweet spam this morning. <laughs> so I might want to go through and see what people are twittering about and what's going on in the Android world. Uh, I might have news feeds. I might have stock tickers, and I might have a different, or I will have a different use for. Um, different needs for my home screen when I'm at work as opposed to when I'm at play or maybe on Sunday I want to have a Sunday scene and uh, because you know I'm watching football all day long so what I can do is let's see menu and you press this button scenes here and they have some default uh, names for these scenes work play travel clean slate so I could go to clean slate here done and uh, would you like to save your current scene no and so here's a clean slate uh, and there's nothing on it as you can see and I could really just be like alright I'm gonna fill this all up with my NFL stuff I'm gonna put my NFL widget and that's the other thing about HTC Sense is widgets You've got scenes, which are canvases, and then you've got widgets, which are items you put on the canvas. HTC has an extensive number of unique um, widgets here, and to add a widget, you just press the little plus sign, and you've got shortcuts. Now, I noticed this OCGI program, but I'm told that really isn't anything. A, a developer must have left it behind. I'll do some research on that, though, and if you guys uh, out there have any uh, information as to what that is, that would be cool. But these are, like I can add a person, select from my um, 
select from my you know account who I want there um, I can add a music playlist as a widget and I added a little fandroid playlist so that's there but really what you're really gonna w wanna look at are these HTC widgets which are just great there's a ton I go in depth with them in the other article of the other video I go through every single one of these but some neat ones that you'll wanna look at our clock which has a ridiculous number of different clocks you can choose for the home screen um, footprints is pretty cool although I don't see a ton of people using it uh, photo album photo frame stocks is great and Twitter is great and weather again is great um, so you can add these different weather widgets which is really neat there's only there's three of those uh, the stock one is great for anybody who's in, invested in the stock market or interested in the stock market. Settings is great too. So you've got uh, Wi-Fi there. So I can just turn Wi-Fi on and off with the click of a button. And so Wi-Fi is on now. Last night it wasn't working too well for me where I currently am. Uh, so that's scenes and widgets. And uh, again check out the links in the review and I'll shoot you over to uh, an in-depth review of scenes and widgets uh, let's go back to the other the initial scene which was the HTC scene and again you can set up your scene how you want it and then uh, and then save it uh, one thing that I want to point out was the a music player actually and this is a an HTC widget here the music player on this I found to be really good really visually appealing there's you can add a big one you can add a little one um, so let's select the big one and you can just play right from your home screen change songs it gives you the album cover if uh, if that's included in your library and so I can go ahead and go in and open up the multimedia player and then do a ton of things whether it's um you know looking at all the artists looking at all the songs the albums I have the songs I have the playlists adding playlists doing a lot and I can actually let me turn this down a little bit but I can actually get out of here and then be multitask on my phone while I'm listening to music which is really cool and to get back to that if I'm like ah oh, it's like I'm, I'm doing something shut up music Blah. go ahead and just pause it it's in the status notification because I know that bothers me sometimes like something happens or someone's calling my name and the music won't stop playing so that makes it pretty easy okay I'm running out of time here so um, the other thing, let's do flash in the browser, which is a great feature. And one way we can quickly show you that is by going to the HTC website, which uh, which uses flash in their header. Oops, this has a little dot com on the keyboard, which is kind of neat. And so let's just go to, the, and we want to orient it this way. so we can see the whole thing but flash in the browser is great just because you have these full HTML browsers and uh, but sometimes you know a lot of web pages use flash and there you go you see the animation of it coming across the screen otherwise on most browsers that would just be dead space which just oops excuse me which just sucks so the other thing is you can see I'm only looking at a portion of the page here um, the HTC hero has pinch and zoom so I can just zoom out real easily which is really cool and be looking at the whole um, the whole thing here so flash in the browser pinch and zoom two great utilizations uh, and I go to discuss flash in depth in a video I'll link you guys to that uh, contacts and social networking is another one and I've only got a minute and a half before YouTube's gonna um, cut me off so two other things are uh, the contacts and social networking are great um, those are things that you're going to want to look at more in depth I'll link you to those too but really it uh, and I can do let's see shortcut <clears throat> uh, 
Let's do the HTC people widget. Yeah, if I do this and do like select that, I and I can add people to my thing and it pulls their picture from Facebook uh, or from other sources that you know where I'm connected with them which is great um, and let me make sure that I can really do a lot of things with my contacts with integrating them excuse me I don't want to show you all my contacts I'll link you to the other video um, so and then there's the digital camera and the camcorder which is customized a little bit and I do an in-depth review of that too but time is running out and like I said it's very much the same as this HTC Hero and uh, from the European version I'll show you guys uh, some of the differences.